the oh, what's going on? Oh, there we go. yep, we're here. <laughs> we're here. Great. Both of us are here, I think. Um, so we're gonna do our first podcast of the season. Uh, we don't know where Ian is. We messaged him, but I think he's still working. So it's just gonna be the two boys today. So, um, so I thought we were gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, something that doesn't get talked about too much in fantasy, but we're gonna go through not and, nearly enough. Not nearly enough. We're gonna focus on uh, kickers today. So, um, gonna grade the whole league drafts kickers mm-hmm. uh current rosters whole thing we're gonna do it so strap in um, strap in giddy up <laughs> here we go who do you got who do you got what do you got first Levi? what's your biggest takeaway what i got first now sorry if i'm looking at my phone a little bit i'm trying to pull out this win against oh my gosh tim and i oh right down to the wire um and not impressive that sucks. So we had the draft. We had so one person from the league last year kept a kicker, and that was, of course, Ethan of uh, I believe drafting three kickers fame from last year. So we um, he kept uh, Justin Tucker. So aside from that, uh, first kicker to go in the draft was Harrison. <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, yes, Harrison. <laughs> now, say I think the best kicker out there is Rodrigo Blankenship. Let me tell you, this dude can kick. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think is number one? Uh. <laughs> Jay, you're just saying that because you're wearing the Rodrigo Blank glasses right now. That's the no. only reason you like it. He's good. Jay, listen, I have watched a couple Colts games already this year. The dude, he never, the ball's never right down the middle. So I'm not, I don't want to hear that trash right now. It doesn't so, matter if it's in the middle. It just matters if it goes in. He's no. number two. Dude, I don't even you're, know talking to a, you're talking to a Bears fan, okay? I lived through, I lived through the double blank, okay? It definitely yeah, matters. Yeah, means you don't know. Down Main Street. <laughs> Listen, best kicker in the league, hands down right now, is uh, Will Lutz. And I know that for a fact because he's lighting me up right now. I am the Lutz guy. Big fan. He's got youth. He's like, what is he, like 22, 23, 24? He's going to be kicking for 20 more years. So, strap in. Did you know Did you know he is the only left-footed in the entire league? Just based on that fact alone. That is tricky. It is tricky. Um, I say most underrated kicker in the league, probably Badgley with the Chargers. Um, I feel like that's a guy that always ends up on a roster, my roster at some point in time. Did you watch the game yesterday? He 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 choked. He doinked it. He he choked. He Not doinked it. Doinked. He doinked it. He's underrated. That's why if he had made that kick. He would be he would be rated right where he deserves. No, I think I think if he made it he'd be underrated. But now he's he's just not good. He might not he might get cut. Uh, speaking I'll of getting cut. Who, I'll tell you who number one is. Tell me who number one is. Or not when it's kind of, uh, most underrated. Um dude, I'll tell you who. It's Joey Sly. My guy. Is he still in the league? He's good, yeah. Of course he's still in the league. He's good. No. No, I don't buy that. I'm looking right now. Joey Sly. Joey Sly has the, the slowest kick rotation of anyone in the league right now. You get out of here with that trash right now. I would... Doesn't matter. Spin rate, that dude's lowest ripped. bottom that dude's third ripped. spin rate. It doesn't even... League. Not even a rip for like kicker standards. He's just he's ripped. So say someone gets hurt, you throw that guy in. He could play. Like he could run. He could run the ball. He'll be the next CMC. <laughs> oh, all right. 
here's what we're gonna do. I want you let's rank let's rank the league based on their kicker situation. Um, mm. Kickers can make or break your lineup. So give me who's your number one? Your Asar. Well, number one. Well, number one is is Rodrigo. So that's Colton. Can I just keep, can I give you <sighs> Colton top three? is like no, number two. Number two is Fat Randy for the cool. For, he hasn't missed a kick since he missed that. The one in game one where he, he was Wait, hurt. Who is this? Because he hurt. Because obviously, if, if you miss a kick, you pretend you're hurt. Randy Bullock <laughs> for the Bengals. Randy Bullock. You know, you know your guy, Joe Burrow? He's a kicker. Joe oh, Burrow goodness. can't get it done. Fat Randy comes in and cleans up. <laughs> Oh. What about Ryan Suckup? Mm, Matt Gay was better. I think there's a joke in there, so I'm I miss Matt. moving on. <laughs> I miss Matt Gay. Uh, you know, surprisingly, he's been pretty good this year. It's uh, Cairo Santos for the Bears. I didn't even know he was on the Bears until the first game of the season. So. Oh, and then number three is is Will Lutz. Will Lutz is solid. Will Lutz is very good. Oh. Um, I would say Ethan's in the worst kicking spot in the league, and he needs to rectify that. But he's the one with the most kickers on his line, in his roster in the entire league. So he's Ethan's probably he's got the re- he's got Justin Tucker. What do you what do you That's, what is that supposed to mean? You think are you calling out Justin Tucker? I'm calling out Ethan mostly. Um, I mean, he's got his bases covered. He's got his bases covered. He's got, you know, multiple kickers. So he's ready for any bye week. He's ready for any okay. COVID snare that might pop up. Um, multiple kickers, multiple quarterbacks, multiple wide receivers, multiple running backs. He's a well-rounded team. Almost, oh, he doesn't, he's, he's good. Um. All right. Do we have anything else? I thought for sure we could go 30 minutes on kickers, but it seems uh, like Greg Greg Zerline is overrated. Greg the leg? Not not impressed. Oh, is that his name, Greg the leg? Yeah, you never heard that before. Well, I guess nicknames go. I guess that's as clever as you can get, right? <laughs> I don't I know. More. I would more appreciate like. Zerline just in time, or <laughs> Zerline, he's so fine. But Greg the Leg is just, come on. Zerline. Um, Can we talk about the fact that Cody Parkey actually has a job for Cleveland? Cody Parkey. You're just, you're just bitter. I'm very bitter, 100%. He's yeah, not that bad. He's pretty bad. Not that bad. Uh, Do you remember when just, the the Badger said that really really fat kicker? Uh, he was from he was from like Italy or something. He had like a. No, I'm yes. sorry. I don't I don't remember that. <laughs> Do you remember when um Western Michigan University they had a kicker and he was decent but then they had like put like a, a tackle in the kick do you remember that no oh, oh well this is why i remember this kicker my the god the only thing i know about the only thing i know about remember western michigan is when the badgers whooped up on them that bowl game or is that central michigan troy troy fumagalli Garden. All right. Well, well, league. You there's our first. review of the kicker situation in the old fancy league. <laughs> Amazing. This is terrible. <laughs>